Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for repair, and this one is model number G732 LXS. The customer wrote, motherboard likely had a short due to clogged fans being ineffective at dissipating heat quick enough. So the customer thinks the fans are clogged, and that's why the system developed a short circuit. Now, the first thing we want to do is check and see if, in fact, we have a short circuit, because right now the customer is assuming that we have a short circuit. We have the DC input right here. That's where the charger plugs in. That's where I start always. And if you notice here, we have two MOSFETs and we have a current sense resistor. Why don't we put the meter in diode mode and measure the current sense resistor for a short? Do we have a short circuit here? And we do. Look at this. We have a short at the drain of the second MOSFET and we have a short at the current sense resistor. A short at the current sense resistor is a problem. The laptop is not going to power on. And how does a short happen? The customer said his fans are clogged. The system was not able to dissipate heat properly. And that's how the short circuit happened. You have to listen to the customer. What we're going to do right now is inject voltage at the current sense resistor or at the drain of this MOSFET and we're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. All right, so our current sense resistor is right here. We're going to inject voltage at either the bottom or top part. It doesn't matter. And look at this. We inject voltage here on the right side and we see something hot right over here on the left side. One more time. Okay, got it. It looks like it's one of the two caps. Let's go under the microscope. And right here, one of those two caps. What we can do is apply alcohol in this area while injecting voltage and see which one is bad. It looks like it may be the one on the right side, but we're going to have to find that. So we're going to inject voltage at the current sense resistor, and we're going to apply alcohol here. See? It's the one on the right, because alcohol evaporated on this one first. We still have alcohol here. We still have alcohol here, but not here. We got it. The job is done. How did that cap fail? Well, I told you in the last video, why don't you ask the cap? The cap is out. And now we're going to check for a short circuit again. Right here. Do we still have a short circuit? And the short is gone. Wow. We did it. How long did it take? A few minutes. Right? A few seconds. How much do you charge per hour? I told you last time, the question should be how much do we charge per millisecond? Hi. Hello, how are you? Okay. All right. The capacitor is put back in place. Just a minute. The cap is soldered in place. And now we're going to measure again. Make sure we do not have a short circuit. And the job is done. Meter in diode mode. 0 0.37 voltage drop. Awesome. We're done. Now the motherboard is still on the laptop. We did not remove the motherboard. We did not disassemble the motherboard. Maybe we can turn the laptop on like this. I do not have to give it to Big Boss, right? Who needs Big Boss? Unless he removed some cables. I don't think so. So the cable is plugged in. And... I do see the lights. 
I see the lights on the keyboard. All right, but we want to see an image on the screen because lights on the keyboard are not enough. I do not see anything on the screen. What's going on? I think the laptop is not fixed. It's turning on and off. On and off. Okay, so I asked Big Boss to put on the heatsink and fans. Maybe the motherboard is shutting off because we do not have the heatsink on. I said who needs Big Boss, but it looks like we do need Big Boss to put the heatsink and fans on. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's working. Great. So it was the heatsink. Done. Thank you, Big Boss. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.